And we need to have a creative intro. No, we don't. You you can just welcome people. No, no, but you know the intro before the intro? Before it goes into, into the well, guitar? Well, maybe you, we can just... No, you don't need that. Oh, it's so boring. No, but we're going to do like a funny comedic, like, ah, oh, <laughs> husband and wife. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> oh. Welcome back to the Maintaining Peace podcast. This is episode four. Um, sorry we missed last week. We were just living life, taking a little bit of a breather. Yeah, a we did weekend. three episodes and we're like, mm, tap no, out. No, last weekend we just <laughs> needed kidding. a family weekend. Yes, So yes. we just had some time just together and it was very refreshing. Yeah, it was. Relaxing. Yeah. yeah. Definitely needed. But anyways, we are back. Mm. It's a new week. Yeah. Feeling good? How are you feeling? No, I am. It's like, it's like we ask these questions and we don't live together and do life together. Well, I don't ask you this on a day to day basis. I should ask you. What? How are you feeling? How am I feeling? How are you feeling, Daniel? Tell me about your oh feelings. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just. How have you been going? No, I, I'm excited for this podcast just because um, even like today, this morning on Sunday, had like a really big, um, just like Holy Spirit encounter with God, just meeting him personally at church. And it was really nice and just kind of got a few words, got fed really well from the Holy Spirit. And also the theme that we're going talking about today, like is relevant to what was, what I was touched about weirdly enough. So I'm really excited to do it. Yeah. What about you? How are you doing? I feel, well, first of all, this is a side note, but I'm feeling great. Oh. Well, she's pretty much... My daughter has been putting herself to sleep at night. Um, we put her down awake and she puts herself to sleep. So I'm feeling great about that. Come Anyways. On. But no, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling challenged <laughs> by this whole topic today. Um, yeah. Because I feel like God's been revealing it in lots of different... In my Bible time, through podcasts I'm listening to. Just like the mm. same topic kind of keeps mm-hmm. coming to me. And I'm excited, but it's also challenging at great. the same time. Love it. So with that being said, what is today's topic, Daniel? You go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Back to me. Yeah. Um, the whole idea around being set apart mm. from the world and um, what that looks like as Christians. Um, because I don't know about you, but I feel like very often I'm walking the line. I am like... A little bit over here on the fence, like a yeah. little bit on there and then back. Like if someone, fence. if you said you were Christian, someone would be like, oh yeah, okay. Or like, yeah, they like would I, be I like, don't oh, know. I like. Like I see that in you, like that yeah. makes sense. And that's who I want to be. Mm-hmm. I want somebody to see me and be like, there's something different about you. Even mm-hmm. if they think it's the weirdest thing ever, if mm-hmm. I, they think I'm crazy, I want people to see something different. Yeah, yeah. Not negatively. Yeah, no. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't want... Sure. I don't want to... Yeah, do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I don't want to yeah, be called... Absolutely. Like, a, I'm not called. I don't want to be coming across aggressive yeah, or anything yeah, yeah, yeah. like that with faith. But I want yeah. people to be like, hmm. Yeah. Why... Something like, I want what you have. Or, like, you're experiencing or so much even chaos. Just, yeah. And you're still so peaceful. Or you're still so... Yeah. Um, or, or, just, or, like, quick, you're quick to like forgive or apologize and quick to throw your pride down and people will be like why like are surprised by it yeah or just feel the warmth too great yeah well said yeah Yeah. the warmth yeah the warmth of god yeah and and that's the biggest thing it's like we want to pursue holiness not happiness and Mm. holiness is where the credit all comes from god because that's also just quickly i know we're not we're gonna we're gonna go in a whole different direction but sometimes we chase god for the great character traits that we get to benefit us mm, it's like what can god give me not what can we yeah do to glorify god yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. that's very so if, so if someone accurate. says like i love how you, how you are then like hey like god gave me this gift i like god yeah like, yeah god gets all the credit i'm just so happy to be his vessel. and that's so that's even like one of my points actually mm. is that like say for example if i'm talking to a christian it's so easy for me to be like, like, um, 
oh, like this prayer got answered this week, or I can see God moving in here and this and mm. that. But if I'm talking to a non-Christian friend, I'm very quick to just kind of brush it off and not say like, here's an example. Like um, if Ellie, Ellie's feeding, for example, mm-hmm. She's now latching better. Mm-hmm. So I could be with a when, when somebody that's a Christian, I'd be like, yeah, I've been praying, which I have mm. been, and I know it's an answered prayer because she's been feeding better. Mm. Um, but I would maybe just be like, oh, yeah, we've got her to latch better. Mm. It's been great. I've been doing all these techniques, this, that, blah, 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 instead of giving all the glory and credit to God. <laughs> mm. Like, as well as, like, God's been giving me wisdom on how to put things into practice so she does feed better. But yeah, yeah, yeah. do you know what I mean? Like, I'm just quick to leave God out of it. If right. I'm talking to somebody that's not a not Christian, just, yeah. because I'm scared of, I don't know, offending or being judged or being, or being weird or being weird or, yeah. sorry, I just hit my paper. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Yep. Yep. I, I completely hear you. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, um, I remember on, on one Sunday I was in worship and there was this person next to me who I think was at church for the first time, hasn't really had much exposure to God. And, um, I was kind of like. I wanted to worship more physically, but then I didn't want to scare this person away. Mm. I didn't want this person to think, oh, this is a bit weird. He's raising his hands like, and it's not to, you know what I mean? Right. And, yeah. and I remember God was saying like, um, what did he say? It was really, it was like, don't water down the effect I have on you. Mm, dang. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like, don't like water it down. Um, mm. Like you, like if you love me and you're praising me and you're surrendering to me, like do it how like it's like under the out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks, but it's un, un, out of the abundance of awe then also how physically we can be. You yeah. know what I mean? We can have yeah. joy, we can cry, we can And it doesn't family. matter if you look weird. Like even mm. today that same thing happened at like when I was up in the nursing mother's room, mm. which you can still hear the sermon and actually see inside to the sanctuary mm. um and you guys were doing the altar call and then i, I was the only one in the room but i knew people kind of like come in and out and walk around and stuff so like i started singing along with the worship and just praying closing my eyes and worshiping and then i was like man i'm gonna look weird though if somebody so then i stopped and i was like no i'm not gonna stop and then i did it yeah, again. You know what i mean but you're kind of yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. you're like oh if somebody walks in here i'm gonna look weird but they wouldn't care they like, wouldn't care especially yeah. not at church <laughs> but, yeah but exactly church is the place we should be putting this into practice yeah. because if we can't put it into practice at church or surrounded by other Christians, then how are we going to put yeah, it into practice in absolutely. our daily lives at work or on the street yeah. or if at we can't, home? If we can't, um, if we can't do it in there, then we definitely can't do it out there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so that's 100%, 100%. the safest and best place we need to be practicing boldness and yeah. stepping out. Yeah. 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 But yeah, absolutely. especially now that we have a little daughter a little girl we want to be setting the best example for her and Mm -hmm. putting that into practice in parenting and and also just showing how much a part of our lifestyle it is Mm. like like i like i remember like for me there would be multiple times like all the time uh, most mornings i would walk in and to my parents room and mum would be having her devotions Mm. and my dad might be on his knees just praying yeah it might not be super like he might not be crying or doing a blah, blah, blah. Right, you know, not be like tongues, super, but, super spiritual. Yeah, or like, but look. he's just on his knees in a in mm. a posture of surrender. And mm. I don't know what he was praying about, but um, but yeah. But you can see it in their lives. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, and so I want, um, I want it to be, I don't think casual is the normal. I want it to be normal. Yeah, just for, the Ellie's just like, yeah, yeah, we just have Holy Spirit encounters in our house yeah, often. Or yeah. like my, you see, I see my parents yeah. practicing what they preach. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah, it's not yeah, just that's empty. It. That's it, yeah. Empty words. Yeah, for yeah. sure, which is kind of like a big conviction we're feeling at the moment is because mm-hmm. there are some times, and which we've talked about in last episodes, which we won't go into all the things that we've already talked about. Yeah. But, um... Oh, I lost my train of Well, I'm sure we'll repeat ourselves at some point. Yeah. Because we are scatterbrained, so <laughs> parents, but... But it was like, yeah, just like we want to watch the things that Eliana would be okay watching as well. Yeah, so that's um, a whole thing is that like I've actually been feeling very convicted about just um, movies and TV shows and all these things that aren't inherently wrong. Like they're not wrong per se, but... To me, they're just empty. 
Like there's no right. value to them. Right. And I don't want to spend my time filling my mind with things that aren't of value or even some of them do have things that I shouldn't be watching because I wouldn't let Ellie watch. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. even if it, yeah, I don't know. It's yeah, just, I yeah, mean, something big that. I hear you. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it's like, it's with that. Um, Cause we also want to watch things to kind of stay relevant or, mm, or, right. or like stay I'm not too sure what the word. What's I mean? Like we want to be a part of the world, but not be part of the world. Is that what you mean? Yeah. 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 Because I, I think for a bit, I was. I grew up in a Christian family, and then I did my own thing for a bit, and then there was a point where I was trying to get my faith back on track, but then I wanted to be this like edgy Christian who had edgy like a belief, cool Christian, a cool Christian who yeah. had edgy beliefs and mm. did not have the sound theology or doctrine at any point and it was all about what i thought so i thought this and that and yeah. i thought there's nothing about what jesus says in the in the word yeah. of god right yeah and yeah. um but i remember i quote that my dad said to me he was like dan we often spend so much time trying to get as close to, to the world without fully touching it it's so Where, true though. Yeah, yeah, whereas we should be going as close to God and fully like embracing it. In a, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. it was almost like, like this is kind of completely off topic, um, but similar principle with us when we were dating and the whole thing of crossing boundaries, which we, we'll do, we'll dedicate an episode for that down the road or something yeah. maybe. But the heart was, like if we ever had the heart of um, we... We'll just apologize after. We'll po- yeah, yeah. We'll we'll be physical. Sorry, for anyone that doesn't understand the crossing boundaries. True. Thing, somebody's not a Christian. They're like, huh? yeah. So for Mateo and I, we both have had our past. Like we both came together. We weren't. We were both far from virgins, um, and we did our own things. But then when we came together, we wanted to do this. Like the, we wanted to date in the Christian in form. Intentional dating. Yeah. Yeah. And so we um, didn't want to have sex before marriage or anything like that. But because we've already tasted the pie individually, <laughs> that's a weird way to it's say it. But you get what I mean. We, but we said so then um, crossing boundaries. So going, we never actually had sex, but we had different forms of that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we had um, boundaries like we only, our boundary was only to kiss before yeah. And kiss, not even like make out. Like making out was mm. kind of crossing a boundary for us as well. Yeah, right? Like yeah, we yeah. had those boundaries. So then when we crossed them, mm. that's, yeah. Yeah, then we would use that as a reason. Okay, let's continue crossing. In yeah, it's like, well, we've already done it. So it doesn't yeah. matter kind of thing. So but our complete heart wasn't like, it wasn't like, oh, quick, we messed up. Let's quickly apologize. Let's solve this. Our heart was how close we can get to the world. Yeah, without so, actually... Without actually, even yeah. though so we didn't have, like, intercourse or whatever. Yeah. But we, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so, so but that'll be a whole another conversation for another yeah. time. But, but, but I get, yeah. But, like, we're trying to get so... And it's even like that with, like, scenes, like, when sex scenes come on into movies and all that kind of thing. Yeah, like, it seems weird because we're adults and it doesn't matter. But, like, yeah. closing your eyes. Like, you've always done that. Or, like... Mm, well, sorry, you've done it. It could be better, but yeah. But I can see that right. in you, that you're like, oh, no, and we both like turn away or like skip or yeah. fast forward it yeah, or yeah. like, yeah. even though we're grown adults and technically yeah. it's okay, Yeah. but for us, that's something that we've chosen to not mm. let grow in our life because yeah. that can it wreak havoc on your marriage, sex yeah. life, everything. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Just kind of be, it can be a gateway. Yeah, right? absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's something like, like on my, like I've recently just temporarily, like just deleted the apps of like Instagram and Facebook, Facebook and all that kind of thing. Yeah. And um, it's funny because really I'm like, I'm no longer on that, but then I'm playing chess.com a lot and reading a lot more than just like, I'm always finding something <laughs> else on, on your phone. Yeah. yeah to fill the yeah, time. So I'm getting better at that. But Anyway, but like I've heard people say that like their partners, their husbands are actually on social media because it's pretty much soft core porn. Which on TikTok, and, you've noticed. Yeah. You noticed that your algorithm was starting to get that. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. you came to me and told me that. Yeah. You're like, And that's the thing, right? With the algorithm is that I also feed into it. Yeah. And so that's like a real tough bullet to swallow. So mm. it's like I were 
like I spent more t- because like it came onto my thing and then I watched it longer. So then it's picking so then up. It's, then it keeps so that's, more it's more. just yeah. like, um, yeah. And so it's kind yeah. of like that thing that like, just because it's okay, doesn't mean it brings any value, like a little bit of poison yeah, into a big pool of water still does damage. Yeah, absolutely. Like it can still... Yeah, yeah. Because often like the f- those first steps are often look like the, the most harmless, mm-hmm. but then the most harmful. And that's what the enemy wants. He wants yeah. you to be like, oh no, that's harmless. That's yeah, fine. This is yeah, bad. yeah, yeah. But that's and what we need to And it's silly to make it a problem. Yeah. Do you know like what I mean? you feel silly to me. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. It's like me talking to you about like the TikTok stuff. I was like, man, this is so immature. Like I should have just like looked at porn so that way it's like a bigger thing right does that make sense which yeah actually, that's, that, that's that didn't really he... cross my mind that sounds so twisted but, no, <laughs> but, but you get I what i mean. mean that's how the enemy can yeah get into your mind yeah and it's like keeping an eye out for all those sneaky those mm. sneaky evils right yeah. yeah like actually like this one girl i follow uh malena i think is her name um she was just coming out with uh, she just came out with a video talking about how she's now being really intentional with her kids and what they're watching, even on Disney. She said, like, even what seems so innocent, like, Mm. oh, she used the example of, like, Moana and Elsa. Um, They seem so innocent, but they're still magic and they're still dark and they can still be, like, all intertwined in that. Right. Um, And again, not to say that if you let your kids watch Moana or frozen that you're bad like that's yeah, not yeah, yeah. but that's just how she felt convicted now like that's so true though mm. like how there can be just little bits of poison mm. in these things yeah yeah, yeah that yeah. we just kind of overlook because we're like oh it's fine it's mm. just like it's sweet it's innocent it's whatever until it's yeah. not yeah 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 because you know yeah. I mean? yeah she said that her kids were having nightmares all the time Oh, really? Yeah. yeah right. And then um, she actually took that out and she replaced it with right. um, more biblical shows and just more... Christian Moana? No. Just, yeah. Yes, a Christian Moana. A Christian no. Hawaiian... No, she like. just replaced it and then <laughs> yeah. those nightmares have stopped. Right. So like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. just... Yeah. It's just being aware. Yeah, absolutely. And listening to God and seeing yeah. what he convicts you of. And yeah, then yeah. Follow and I think, and it's like, like, if anyone's listening, don't get stuck on the whole thing of Moana or anything. No, no, like no. That. That's what I mean. But I wasn't going to. I will yeah. say this though, is that like, after time, things can change and things can change quickly and agendas mm-hmm. can really come in. And we're seeing that now. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. um. So even like, though it's Disney and it Disney's innocent. Yeah. Well, yeah. But yeah, well, they're going a well, direction seemed... that isn't, yeah. So innocent. Yeah. yeah. That isn't um, that way. Whether or not that, who knows, they might have a change of heart. That'd be great. But yeah. Yeah. So it's just being aware. Yeah. Being yeah. aware, being on guard and doing that for yourselves so you can do that for your kids as well. Mm. So like to me, I've actually, um, yeah, like I said, just stopped wanting to fill my time with um pointless shows and movies like i don't i've started shows and i'm like oh why am i watching this you know what i mean and mm. just, even books like i'll be reading a book and i'm like well i don't really think this is of value and i don't really want to spend my time mm. reading this you know what i mean yeah that being said i still scroll on social media a lot so i'm <laughs> we're getting there <laughs> um but yeah anyways i guess i think we've painted a pretty good picture about how we've struggled with it and what's Mm. kind of been going on for us. Um, But I think it's really important to also go back to scripture Mm. and what scripture says. Um, And one piece of scripture that's been sticking out to me, it's in Philippians, um, which Paul wrote when he was in prison Mm. in Rome. And for the first time, I think (laughs) 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 what a many. Yeah. Um, But it's Philippians um, 4 verse 8. And it says, And now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing. Fix your thoughts on what is true, what is honorable and right, pure, lovely, and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Mm, Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And I think, like, with that verse is... um, 
I mean, the Bible always just nails it to the head because, like, it's obviously, yeah, like, we can't, like, police our thoughts or anything like that, but we can really take hold of our thoughts. We can really um, claim responsibility over our it thoughts. It also says, take captive every thought. Oh, right. Give it back to Christ. Yeah, right? yeah gotcha. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah, we're there called you to go. Do that, so. Yeah, yeah. Because there is that thing where it's like, um, Thoughts can become words, words can become actions, actions become habits, habits can become lifestyle, mm. right? Mm-hmm. And obviously, like, <laughs> we're always going to have thoughts and everything oh, like that, obviously. Yeah. But there is such, um, I think, such power and such surrender of when you don't let it grow and when yeah. you kind of give it to And when you build in those daily habits mm. and just taking small things, like I said, small things that seem harmless yeah. but can still put poison yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. 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 I feel like ultimately that will lead to a lot more like peace and calm. Mm-hmm. I agree. I've already seen, like I personally, even just, sorry, just quickly. Yeah. Um, just like with our weekends, how mm. we've been trying to be a lot more intentional with it just being family, just being mm. like us and really um, like not going on our phones as much and spending time. Yeah, just building into each other, and I've and also, more. and I just want to say just on that just quickly, it's it's so good to do it now because it is at its hardest in the winter. Oh, like <laughs> j- 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 just like physically yeah. with environments, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Because we're in a small town, sometimes there's not a whole lot to do, so we have to make our own fun. Yes. And with the weather being like, sometimes it's even hard to go out for a walk with Ellie in the in our pram or stroller, yeah. whatever you want to call it's it. Same, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, with all the ice and slush, so sometimes we can't, but sometimes we just have to power through. What I'm saying is like, there's never a good time to do the right thing. Yeah. So often. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And so I think it's awesome that I think God has convicted us so strongly now. So when the summer comes, not to say that it's all going to be easy, but it will be less obstacles in yeah, a sense I so yeah. i just want that to be an encouragement for anyone because there's never the right time to to kind of take hold of our responsibility there's always a, an excuse there's always a reason there's always a, a an obstacle or a thing to wait for definitely in a sense but uh, yeah. i think it's so important to just um not take not take no for an answer not take I know what you're saying, but not, that's not, not to, the right Not sentence. to say no. No. To say no. I've I don't know what you're oh, saying. buddy. I have lost. <laughs> Holy Spirit, get me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Words of wisdom activate. No. <laughs> but, yeah, does that make it's sense? It's not let it get the best of you. Don't let it get the best of you. Um, and take ownership, responsibility, because yes. there's always the right time to do the right thing. Thing. that's not always true actually <laughs> all right we're getting tired we're starting to i'm starting to ramble you want to finish with a home run oh. and then... <laughs> i had a point but now you've been no i i, I, I oh no all i was gonna say was good thing netflix has um now gone up in price and we can can't we have a better excuse to cancel <laughs> <it too. laughs> Yeah, yeah. Netflix was like, "Oh, we can't get any more people um, becoming members, so let's put adverts in and raise the prices." <laughs> yeah, and I'm That'll like, help. "Okay, bye." <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> anyways, um, thank you guys for listening. Mm. Um, we hope that you got something out of our oh, that mess, mess yeah. but. Um, Ooh, I'll get better at this, I promise. <laughs> this time goes on. Episode 52. Yeah. I swear, guys, I'm going to get better at this. Uh, no, uh, uh, we appreciate you guys. Love you lots. <laughs> you make it sound like we're talking to our family. Which, well, okay, we probably fine. are. <laughs> okay, I don't know what I'm saying now. Oh, man. No. Um, I think we're both just so surprised that Ellie is still asleep. Yeah, I keep looking at the at the monitor and I'm like, oh my gosh, she, she put herself to sleep. <laughs> right. I mean, to be fair, she's still waking up every one to two hours, but there's progress <laughs> and it's great. Okay. Anyways, thank um, you guys for listening. We will see you in our next episode. And remember that peace isn't the absence of conflict, but peace is the presence of God amidst, amidst the conflict. Yes. We we'll say that later. for ourselves as well. That's our anthem. That's our anthem. Okay. Cool.
Peace out, guys. Come home to my